few sightseeing to say. Oh, did you see that? When those people entered the city, something on their heads lit up. One moment, please, you two. It appears this is your first time visiting Sumeru City. Oh, yeah, that's right. But how did you know that? Because there's currently no information on either of you in the Akasha. But no need to worry, that won't prevent you from entering the city. In fact, the Academia conveniently provides each traveler to Sumeru City with a device. Perhaps you two have heard of the Akasha before. It's our beloved Greater Lord Rukadavata's lasting legacy, a treasure trove of collected knowledge. After centuries of tireless research on the Akasha, the Academia created one of its most ingenious inventions, the Akasha Terminal. As long as you are within Sumeru's borders, you may use an Akasha terminal to connect directly to the Akasha and access any knowledge you need. I should mention that due to technical limitations, the operation of Akasha terminals will be much smoother and more effective in large cities such as Sumeru City and Port Hormos. Oh, so this is the thing that Tainari was telling us about. It sounds pretty amazing. You two are quite fortunate. Until recently, it was standard practice to only issue Akasha terminals to outlanders who spent an extended amount of time in Sumeru. However, this policy was recently changed, and now all travelers are issued one upon arrival. Here are your Akasha terminals. Please handle them with care. <laughs> it kind of looks like a leaf. To activate it, simply hold it in your hand and say the following phrase to yourself. <clears throat> May the mighty god bless us with their voice of wisdom. Oh, since this little doodad lets you access knowledge, maybe we can use it to find a way to meet Lesser Lord Kusanali. Let's give it a try. <clears throat> May the mighty god bless us with their voice of wisdom. Ooh, nice. Wait, we have glasses too. <gasps> Whoa! Just now, something clicked, and Paimon suddenly knew how to use this thing. It seems all we need to do is concentrate on what we want to know, and bam! You get it! Oh, that'll come in real handy! So, I have something that again interrupts me, but I, I was about to say, this turned into Spider-Man. And I really like it, in a way. Exactly. That is the power of the Akasha. And with that, let me officially welcome you both to Sumeru City. May the wisdom of the Dendro Archon always be your guide. Okay, now that we're in, we can check the Akasha about Lesser Lord Kusanali. Let Paimon try. Hmm. <gasps> 500 years ago, the sages found a newly born deity from within some scorched ruins. The deity now resides in the sanctuary of Suristana. Hmm, seems pretty similar to what Kali was telling us. Okay, next, let's concentrate on asking how to meet her. Hmm. Uh, huh? Uh, Paimon doesn't sense anything. Um. The Akasha didn't respond to Paimon's question! Oh, come on! Ugh! Focusing on this question feels like when you have something you're trying to remember and it's on the tip of your tongue, but you just can't think of it! Ugh! Paimon's brain is exhausted! Oh! Smart idea! But, what are you going to ask it? Hmm... You too? Well, glad it's not just Paimon. Uh 
Uh-oh. Paimon's getting all teary-eyed all of a sudden. It feels like the people of Sumeru really miss their Archon. How? Some of them, they... And I don't... He's there like for 500 years or so. I mean, at that point, I guess they're gone, but... I guess this is gonna be kind of the conflict. Like, some are missing the old Archon and don't like the new one. Or maybe something like that. Because we're outlanders and we've only just arrived in Sumeru? You know, maybe we're not qualified to receive an answer to this sort of question or something. <sighs> well, seems no matter which way we try, we can't find anything that'll lead us to Lesser Lord Kusanali. Hmm. Guess our only choice now is to try meeting with the researcher that Tainari recommended. He's from Sumeru, and even has a position in the Academia. Maybe he'll be able to access more info from the Akasha. Let's see. Tainari wrote an address on the letter's envelope. Oh, it's not far from the city's gate. Let's head over and have a look. Hopefully he's at home. Really? I don't have... Don't tell me this is just something unique to the traveler. Okay, let me try. Okay, go ahead and replace it just for a moment. This world is f Are you kidding me? Okay, do this phase out. Okay. Oh come on, for once I want the customization in this game, but really the travel that most people just go just gonna use it for five minutes with new elements and then this out. Ah oh, man, I really want to actually see the characters with this in the gallery. Actually, never mind. I, I have a prediction I'm gonna be bad again, so I better save up for now. So yeah, Watch we got in the Sume. Okay, let me just. Okay, so we got in Sume. We got a new headset that's only for the traveler. Again, game. You somehow do the half big features, but. We're gonna see you next time, and maybe I'm gonna take a little break and. I don't know. We're gonna go. Maybe collect some stuff. Or just take a break and. But I better set up. So see you soon. Oh, no. Thank you, Mihoyo. Why do do have big pictures? <laughs> Let's continue with the story. Hello, are you Rohawi? Yes, that's me. Can I help you? Great! You see, Tainari sent us here and... What? Tainari? I... Uh, please, th there's no need to say anything, really. Sure, I admit that the article I published last month wasn't my best work, and maybe the data didn't produce the most convincing results, but... Here! This is a letter from Tainari! Oh, let me see... Ah! Ooh, what a relief. You two nearly scared the life out of me. So, you two just have some questions for me? Seems even Tainari acknowledges my innate ability for procuring information. So, what is it you two would like to know? We want to meet with Lesser Lord Kusanali. Do you know a way we can do that? You mean you want to meet the Dendro Archon herself? Ah, uh, this isn't exactly my area of expertise, but let me see what I can find in the Akasha. Hmm. Sorry, the Akasha didn't respond to my query. What? You too? But what about your abilities for getting information and all that? Uh, Paimon was sure you'd be able to access more info than we did. 
Well, as I said, this isn't my area of expertise. I am but a lowly researcher, so the Akasha doesn't see a need for me to know more about the Dendro Archon. All I know is that ever since Lesser Lord Kusanali returned to Sumeru, she's never left the Sanctuary of Sorostana or made a public appearance. Huh! Didn't expect her to be such a mysterious figure. The Dendro Archon is somewhat of a recluse. Perhaps she just doesn't want to entertain visitors, which would explain the lack of information in the Akasha. Aww, but then what can we do? <laughs> no need to worry just yet. I'm only hypothesizing here. You could certainly try asking around and see if anyone else has ideas. And besides, you two should consider the bright side of things. Not being able to see Lesser Lord Kusanali may not be a bad thing. In this world, there will always be information you cannot obtain from the Akasha and things you can never accomplish. Knowing when to yield is a form of wisdom. Take me, for example. It's a miracle if my brain cells can spit out one paper every three years. But Tainari? That guy can publish three papers in just a single year. Uh, okay. Thanks for your advice. Don't mention it. If you two ever want information about things like who's been promoted within the academia or relations between the six great sages, come find me. Well, how about Lisa? Again, I so wish now I went where Lisa comes to visit here. Although I kind of know that she doesn't have a great experience here. But hey, San Ye is kind of the default character guest in these limit events. Why, for some reason, Lisa has to come here? Hey, come on! This is a survival skill at the Academia. Oh, Hyman's expectations were pretty low, but this is so low, it's like digging holes in the dirt! Oh. So what do we do now? Even if we want to talk to someone, we don't know anybody here! Really? Huh? Like who? Oh. Oh, you're right! Catherine! The Adventurers Guild has its own intel network! Let's hurry and find her! Yeah, I can't wait. Because now it's gonna be like the fourth Catherine clone for robot. Ad Astra Abyssosk. Hello, Traveler and Paimon. Catherine, we need your help with something! Hey, you're not gonna question why is he here now? Understood. The Adventurers Guild is always ready to serve you. With what do you require assistance? We want to meet with Lesser Lord Kusanali. Do you know a way we can do that? You two wish to meet with Sumeru's Archon. Understood. Please wait. I apologize, but I am unable to call up any relevant information in the Akasha. I'm also unable to locate any pertinent information in my personal memory. Aww, another dead end. Well, if Catherine can't help us, then we really don't know anyone else to ask now. Please do not worry. I may know of someone who can help you two. In Sumeru, the Adventurous Guild does not serve as the vanguard of information. Rather, there are numerous active mercenary groups collectively known as the Aramites. They take on various contracts and work all across Sumeru, so they naturally accrue intelligence. An Aramite brigade called the Corps of Thirty is in charge of Sumeru City's defenses. Not only are they the oldest brigade, but they are responsible for managing and coordinating the affairs of all other mercenary brigades. Core of 30? What a weird name. Supposedly, they are named as such because their ranks numbered 30 at their inception. Asfant, an advisor with the Core of 30, maintains good relations with the Adventurers Guild. Though he's already retired, he and his words carry great weight within mercenary circles. If you'd like to get in contact with him, you can find him at the Core of Thirty's headquarters, the Citadel of Regzar. 
So why does that sound familiar? And we're not gonna question why this here, I guess, in the in Azuma was kinda eh. We discussed a little, but I guess yeah, that's gonna be all the experience. Huh? Kati is just in every region. You're welcome. I wish you two the best of luck. We look forward to your exploits in Sumeru. All right, off to the Citadel of Rizzo we go. Welcome. The Adventurers Guild told me to expect you to. It's nice to meet you, Osfond. We'd like to ask you about something. I see. So, Catherine's the one who sent you this way. Ha. <laughs> It's true that the Aramites' network is vast, but even I can't help you meet the Dendro Archon. Wait, seriously? That's it? <laughs> Afraid so. The Aramites aren't terribly religious, so we don't know much about divinities. As far as the Akasha goes, we can access even less than you. We originally came from the desert. The gods there died off long ago. Since those days, we've used our own two hands to carve out a living. We don't beg gods for their aid. It isn't just us, though. If you ask me, I think most in Sumeru aren't interested in Lesser Lord Kusanali. Oh? Why's that? Just take the Academia, for example. They're the ones who truly rule Sumeru. Although they believe in gods, most of them only care for the late, greater Lord Rugadavada. In their eyes, she was the one who founded Sumeru and gifted us with the Akasha. Lesser Lord Kusanali just happened to inherit her legacy. Because of the Academia's influence, most citizens are more familiar with greater Lord Rugadavada and hold her in greater esteem. Not to mention that Lesser Lord Kusanali never makes an appearance, and the Academia never announces anything about her. As far as the people of Sumeru are concerned, she's just a god that exists. And that's all. Really? Aww. After hearing all of that, Paimon sort of feels bad for Lesser Lord Kusanali. Yeah. I mean, in Monster, the, the god is kind of hidden. Or maybe the another is dead or something? I can't remember. There's hidden. In Nazuma is actually that in still hidden. Although I think there are no two. Or maybe some new. Like Nin one. And in Nazuma, she's a tyrant. For a while. And now she's okay. And here, the god is. No one cares for her. So I said. Ha! But who knows? We're all just guessing when it comes down to it. Besides, I'm sure the God of Wisdom doesn't worry about her reputation among people like us. All right. Well, thanks for the info, Osfond. <laughs> no problem. Always happy to help out the Adventurers Guild. <laughs> Dendro Archon, they even say stuff like, if the Akasha doesn't think I should know, then I don't need to know about it. We've been asking for information non-stop ever since we got to Sumeru. But the harder we try, the more helpless everything seems. Isn't there at least one person in this entire city who cares about Lesser Lord Kusanali? Oh, uh, you two are interested in Lesser Lord Kusanali? Huh? Hello. Who are you? Plot the device. By the sound of it, you two are outlanders who recently arrived here. 
You've been asking around for information on Lesser Lord Kusanali, right? Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Dunyarzad, one of Lesser Lord Kusanali's faithful followers. Whoa, really? Then do you know how we can meet with her? I'm afraid I can't help you with that. But your conversation earlier did happen to remind me of a legend about the Dendro Archon. Sure. It goes like this. Long, long ago, there was a man who heard a prophecy. It predicted that a great calamity was about to befall him. Panicked by what he heard, the man sought out the Dendro Archon in hopes that she would bless him, with the wisdom to help him escape his predicament. The man journeyed across deserts and through rainforests, and experienced tribulations of every kind. However, he still couldn't find any trace of the Dendro Archon. In despair, he thought, alas, the Archon has abandoned me. He then had no choice but to sorrowfully resign to his fate. Okay, and then what happened? And then, the calamity came. But to his own surprise, the man felt somehow emboldened by the trials of his journey. By relying on his own strength, he managed to overcome the adversity. At that moment, a bird perched upon his shoulder. This bird was, in fact, an avatar of the Dendro Archon. She said, Oh, Archon Seeker, do you now understand? She and her wisdom have long been found by you. Along your journey, we were in every flower and blade of grass, every ray of sparkling sun and every breath of dancing wind. So long as you continue to think and ponder, will be wherever you go. Man, the music really hitting with all this cutscene. Yeah, thanks for the story! Paimon feels all warm and fuzzy inside after that. <laughs> uh, in a way. It seems like this story is also one of the Dendro Archon's avatars. Dunyarzad, since you worship Lesser Lord Kusanali, can you tell us anything else about her? Of course. So, did you two know that, uh... uh I'm, I'm terribly sorry, but it seems something's come up now. Uh, let's chat another day. We just meet this group. I don't think we are. It looks like they're searching for someone. Hmm. Dunyarzad was acting super nervous just now. You think they're looking for her? Ugh. The stinks! We finally managed to find a lead about Lesser Lord Kusanali. We can't let them get in the way now. <sighs> Let's see if we can get rid of them. Then we can catch up with Dunyarzad. Hey. Have you two seen a brown-haired girl wearing a purple top and a long blue dress? We're looking for her. No. Nope. Uh, does she have bandages wrapped around her wrists? Yes, that's her. Did you see which direction she went? Uh, yeah, she went that way. Wait, did... Quick, after her. Wait, didn't the uh, oxygen that, that way? 